What's up, everyone? Adam Rodas from DFS Alarm here with your Week 10 Yahoo DFS plays. We'll start at the quarterback position and go with Justin Herbert. He's $31 and has a good matchup here against Minnesota. They've had some injuries on the defensive side, also dealing with some COVID-19 issues. Daniil Hunter, Patrick Peterson remain out. Harrison Smith missed last week. He could be out. And this game total has one of 53, so there should be a lot of points here. After struggling for a couple games, Herbert bounced back last week in a big way. 356 passing yards and two touchdowns against Philadelphia. And he's got that high ceiling. He has at least 30.84 Yahoo points in three games this year. And Herbert attempts 40 pass attempts per game. So the Chargers do like to throw in this scoring environment is conducive to a lot of passes in this game. At running back, we're going to go with Jonathan Taylor. He's $35, but he has been money in the bank lately. He has at least 16 and a half Yahoo points in his last six games. Last week, he had 33 Yahoo points. He has at least 107 yards rushing in three of his last four games and at least 18 touches in five of the last six games. Nine touchdowns over the last six. And the Colts are 10 and a half point favorites against Jacksonville. So he should have his way here. Uh, Taylor's just been rolling, so we'll spend up for him because there's a lot of value on this slate and more could emerge with some of the injury questions that we already see. A wide receiver going to go with Mike Evans. He's $30. I'm assuming that Antonio Brown will not play and Chris Godwin hasn't practiced Wednesday or Thursday due to a foot injury. Rob Gronkowski is unlikely to play. Even if one of those receivers plays, we can still look at Evans, but he's even more appealing if Godwin and Antonio Brown are out. Evans is going to get fed the football. Tampa Bay is coming off a bye in which they lost. Evans has the immense ceiling. Three multiple touchdown games this year. And Washington has been a disappointment defensively. They've allowed the sixth most receiving yards to wide receivers. 1,576, 11 touchdowns to wide receivers. And they've allowed the second most fantasy points to wide receivers this season. At tight end, going to go with Pat Fryermuth. He's $16. Look, he's emerging for Pittsburgh. It happened when Juju Smith-Schuster and Eric Ebron went down. Now, it's unlikely Chase Claypool plays this week. They haven't ruled him out as of this recording, but they're saying that he's week to week. So I don't expect him to play. Fryermuth is going to get targeted in the red zone, as we've seen. Three touchdowns the last three games. 20 targets over the last three games. 18.8 Yahoo points last week. 12.4 Yahoo points uh, the week before. Lions allow 30 and a half points per game. It's a, in a good spot for uh, Friar Muth, who's been targeting. So we'll save some money and go with him. And the value play, there's a lot of ways to go this week. We'll go with Dearness Johnson. He's $13. We're assuming Nick Chubb won't play. He's on the COVID-19 list. And that'll open up a lot of touches for Dearness Johnson. We saw last time that Nick Chubb and Kareem Hunt was out. Johnson played extremely well against Denver in that game. He had 22 carries, 146 yards and a touchdown, and two receptions for 22 yards. New England is 17th in run defense DVOA. Tyler Johnson's in play also at $10. James Washington, Mark Ingram with Alvin Kamara's out. So there's a lot of value plays. So make sure you stay up to date. Check out DFSAlarm.com for the playbook. Go get that money in Week 10.